We want to get rid of cost push inflation. Cost push inflation? Yes, that comes from the supply side. So something happened in the supply side of economy that caused cost push inflation. So if we want to address cost push inflation, it's come with issues from the supply side. Yes, something like monetary policy or fiscal policy. No, doesn't help to increase the interest rate because increase in interest rate is part of monetary policy. And monetary policy addresses the demand side of the economy. The same argument holds for fiscal policy. If you, if you take fiscal policy measures, increase in taxes or decrease in government spending, that will affect the demand side of the economy. But we're working and we need to address cost push inflation. And we decided the cause for cost push inflation is to be found on the supply side of the economy. So if we want to address cost push inflation, do something to the cost of production. So either lower the, the demand for low, um, high wages or profit margins or make your workers more productive. Anything that addresses the cost of production. Graphically, we can illustrate this, and if we just draw the ADA's model, aggregate demand and aggregate supply, and initially we had price level PE, income level YE. Now, let's assume something happened in the economy that caused an increase in cost production, the aggregate, demand, uh, aggregate supply curve was shifted upwards, and we have inflation cost push inflation at price level PE. Now we want to get rid of the inflation here at PE. We already decided it doesn't help to, to take monetary or fiscal policy measures because they deal with the demand side. We need to do something about the cost of production. Now let's for argument's sake say profit margins was the, um, or excessive profit margins was the initial cause for for the cost push inflation. Let's lower that, lower profit margins, that will lower the cost of production and the aggregate supply curve will shift downwards, say to AS1. And we'll see the economy moves to a new equilibrium position, price level P1 and income level Y1. So because the cost of production was lowered, price level came down, inflation came down, we got rid of cost push inflation. But let's consider the effect on, on income. With the lowering of cost of production, producers could produce more if you want at lower prices, so the income level increased, production increased. Now to produce more, we need more laborers. So employment increased, or you could have said unemployment decreased, and that is positive for the economy. Now, if you think back at, if you think back to demand pull inflation, when we took measures, or when measures are taken to get rid of demand pull inflation, you have a trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Decrease in inflation, increase in unemployment. With cost push inflation, we don't have that trade-off. As we can see, there is a decrease in price level, a decrease in inflation, at the same time, there was an increase in income, a decrease in unemployment.